to say that I'm happy to watch this series is a major, major, major understatement because really going from what the earlier well, now, I'll be fair. When I first started watching it, I was actually really worried that it was going to be one of those animes which has a lot of action, no fucking story, and the char- and the characters are going to just end up flat out pissing me off somewhere down the road. But when it comes down to, especially since they're like earlier on, they really were they really were pushing the Meliodas him him liking to fill on Elizabeth thing a lot. And that was tending that was getting really old really quickly, especially since, you know, it was like it happened at like random points. It was never like really like it was never like she led on or something like that. It was never that. He just did it. But either way, getting into what the episode pretty much showed me was the fact that was was the fact that the seven deadly sins are actually the kingdom's strongest the strongest warriors of all even though they all come from different backgrounds and also nobody really knows what gal there is we don't know if he's a magical being we don't we don't know if he's just like a angel or something like that we don't we do not know however give, however i will say that that could be a possibility but either way Getting into that though is that like without 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 Merlin there, everybody did everything they could to attack Hendrickson and also Meliodas. And Meliodas he used his ability to absorb all that magical damage, form it say form it all into his body, and then excuse me, slash slash at Hendrickson one time to turn him to disintegrate his body. Which I will be fair, plot plot I say plot holes and all the rest of that shit I don't give a fuck about right right now. This is one of those animes which makes you say I don't give a fuck about the goddamn um, plot holes. I really don't because in terms of like what the show gives you, it's enough action. It is enough character development. It is enough well not character development but it has enough character and charm behind it in which that you don't really care anymore, especially since. All of the nights so far, all of their characters pretty much did like a 180 when um, of being like, we are against the sins to we really, really need the sins. And that's kind of how this thing works. And this actually does feel like a bit of a two-parter because the first half is the fight and everybody's saying, like, we got to join forces to take out Hendrickson. And once they do, they do clear up the Seven Deadly Sins' names. They, they, are, uh, they are actually really happy and everything else is actually really nice. But afterwards, the second half of that is all of the sin. Well, now Meliod is saying like we haven't assembled all of the seven dead, 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 deadly sins. We got to go find our last member. And also, it turns. And also, he goes and brings Elizabeth with him. And they do ride off toward toward um Camelot to go li- um uh, to go and take care of of the problems that are happening in that kingdom. Just just to give Merlin a hand. But it also turns into the whole thing. Uh, but there's also another thing that does pop up that pops up after the credits, is the fact that Gil Thunder and um, and Jer- Jer- Jericho's brother and fuck I forget old boy's name, um, Dry- Dreyfus's son I forget his damn name. But it's like they all find this book that has that has the mark of the demon in it, saying that. Saying that his father, or at least like the king, they did something to Meliodas, like possibly when he was really young, which, which probably, which, which does actually explain like his demon mode and how he has like a very strong, why, why his is seen as very uh, as stronger than what everyone else's is, especially since that, especially since that does actually explain what happens to Gilead's father. Of saying that, like back in the day, it's like they were actually experimenting with the demon stuff as well, which is something that that we already knew. Except for it makes it interesting now, now because the king actually, actually, his name is in that, which 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 means that he actually actively made this happen. So, really, for what Seven Deadly Sins was, it was an anime that I really do like. I do want to see more of. And if I have to read the manga to get more of it, I probably will. I probably would would do that. But yeah, tell me what do you think of this episode? Do you think about? Tell me. Tell me what do you think of this chapter? This this uh, season? Tell me everything because this season, 
I really did like it. I loved everything about it. Going into more more information about the sins, how they met each other, and everything else. That is pretty much all that I like. And tell me and tell me all about that down there in the comment section. I'll catch you on the next John Grave show. Please keep watching anime, keep playing video games. I'm out.